Hey, Julie Burke here, founder of Create Success with Julie.com, coming to you live um, whenever I can. <laughs> so, as you're tuning in, I typically, uh, I, I don't know, like, I guess I don't have a set time I go live. So, here I am. Um, I have been <clears throat> home with my child um, as I'm trying to get business done, like, literally have had no help with him for the last, I don't know, two, three weeks. My, my parents have been sick, so I haven't been able to go live as often as I like. Um, what's up, Susan? And so, how are you, girl? So yeah, as you guys are tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from. Love to hear from you, but honestly, I just wanted to hop in here real quick. Um, if you've been following me, I'm sure you've noticed I haven't been able to go as live as I'd like to, and so that's kind of my theme for today. I need... Can you guys hear me okay? Let me know if you can hear me okay. I'm closing my sunroof. We have a beautiful day here in Chicago. Thanks for the hearts. I'm going to take it that you can hear me okay. All right, cool. So it's been a beautiful day. 90 degrees here in Chicago today. Super cool. Uh, real quick, just going to make, make note, if you're new to who I am, just put new in the comments. Um, I, I typically... Um, Whenever I have a free time to go live, I will go live and share with you tips and, and uh, strategies on how to build your business online, uh, really leveraging your time. I run uh, four different businesses from my home, and luckily, I if you were on in the beginning of this, you've, you've heard my parents have been sick, so I've been not having any help with my children and doing what I can, but luckily we do run home-based businesses, you guys, right? And that's the fortunate part of what we get to do. So anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys about something that I was talking to my one of my coaching clients um, about uh, yesterday, okay? Pardon me, I'm like a hot mess. I was at a picnic with my son today, and then, oh my God, and it's like I said, it's 90 degrees. My son, my boys, I have two boys, four and seven, wanted to walk to this new park, you guys, literally 90 degrees, pulling a wagon. I walked about a mile, like drenched. I was drenched and then had to go to the bathroom and there was no bathroom at this park. So what do you do, right? So I call my husband to come pick us up <laughs> on his way home from work. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not walking home. Um, but anyways, all right, so... I want to share a story with you guys, and I'm hoping that this helps you. Maybe you can relate, maybe not, I don't know, but here it goes. So I was on a call yesterday with one of my coaching clients, and she is going through a transition in her life, uh, getting divorced, and she said to me, you know, I was at a place where I just needed to like hit pause and take a step back. And... I, and, and so I, I felt like maybe there was a little bit of hesitation on her part with that statement. And I said, it's totally cool to hit pause on your life and take a step back. Okay. Um, listen, if you've been following me, you know that I started my training company two years ago. I've been very successful inside of network marketing. I started a, a new network marketing company last year, one year ago this month, and literally like flew through that company. And um, not only that, I built um, four, uh, three additional six-figure um, uh, businesses all last year, you guys. So what I did is I hustled my way right into a wall. And I share that with you because what happened was in January of this year, um, I realized that I needed to examine my life and my time because I was allowing everybody else to control my schedules. Now, I still have an issue with saying no to people, but I'm getting better at um, prioritizing. So, so have first of all, let me ask you guys a question. Have any of you ever felt like that? Like, have you felt like you've been hustling in your business day in and day out and kind of like either getting nowhere or hustling in your business and having success, but then you always feel like it's a constant hustle. Like you might hit a goal and then you don't even celebrate the goal. Like you, you go right past the goal and you're like, okay, what's the next thing and the next thing? Okay. So there's two ways you, 
there's two ways it can go, right? You hustle and don't get anywhere or you hustle and you're hustling into burnout. That was me a year ago. Like I was hustling and as successful as it was and you know, I generated uh, an amazing income. Money is not everything if you are not feeling happy and fulfilled. Does that make sense? So if you can agree with what I'm saying or you understand um, or if you've hustled before, put hustle in the comments because people say hustle and grind, hustle and grind. And I get it, but I don't believe that you should constantly be hustling and grinding. And if that is what is happening, you need to hit pause for a minute. Um, so in January of this year, I did that and I literally took a step back. All right, cool. Yes. Yes. So true. Money is not everything. No. And Tammy hustled before herself. <laughs> right? So I took a step back and I reevaluated how I was spending my time and what it was I actually wanted to do that would light me up and not do what other people expected of me, right? So is that another thing? Like, have you ever done something because you felt like it was expected of you or not done something because maybe somebody didn't agree with your decisions? So what I encourage you to do is to take like a breath and take a step back. Now I took like a big step back, but I still had some income coming in. So I get that I was a, I've allowed myself to set up my businesses and this is why I'm always preaching multiple incomes, um, to where I was able to take a step back. Okay. Did my income dip? Yeah. Was it like the end of the world? No. Okay. Because what it did is by taking a step back and like really searching for clarity. And you guys, I was like crying. I was crying because I was so confused. I was crying because I was like, what am I doing? I was crying because it was also like me um, taking my business to the next level. And that's also scary. So again, I'm sharing with you because people could say, Oh, Julie, but you've been very successful, but it doesn't mean that success doesn't come with a price. You guys. Okay. Um, last year I lived in my office. I mean, yes, running a home-based business can be amazing, but it could also be total hell because you're like in your office day in and day out. You're like in these four walls. Right. And then I was ignoring my children and I was trying to figure out balance. Like, how am I running these four businesses? How am I able to be there for my team and as a leader and then as a coach and a mentor? And then I'm creating product after product after product with my digital products. And like, I just kept creating and creating and creating and creating. And then I wasn't like really seeing my kids or I was constantly, you know, with my face in the phone, like I got to do this and I got to do that. So I stopped working out. If you know me, you know I love health and fitness and wellness and my workouts stop working out for like six months, okay? And you just like start giving up your life, right? And it becomes constant overwhelm. Don, it is totally overwhelming and emo. It is. So it, yes, Don, I can relate. So it is, it can be, if you allow it to be overwhelming and a, an emotional roller coaster, it can be. And I have had to get really good at dialing in on what it was that I really wanted to do. How am I going to do this to leverage my time and still serve my audience and still make an impact? Because that's, at the end of the day, that's ultimately what fulfills me. Okay. It is. Um, but setting up your business, not for success in terms of like necessarily income, but setting it up in regards to, you know, um, you put a lot of time and energy in, in the beginning, but then setting it up. So where some parts can run on its own or, you know, you could start creating some leverage in your life. You know, that was the reason why I did switch network marketing companies was literally for their business model and their system because it was all online and it was duplicatable. Right. And that's why I'm, 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 you know, leveraging myself there. Right. Setting up my coaching business in a way where I'm now moving into an agency style because what I found was a need for a lot of business owners to when 
they first get started like I did online, right? I'm like, I need, I want a website. I want to create like a sales funnel. You know, like some of this might go over some of your heads. That's okay. But I'm talking about like true online marketing. Well, I've done it all. I have literally done it all and I'm a creative and I have a team that works for me that can help with all the technical aspects. So now I'm, I'm moving my business into an agency type where we have build outs of websites, build outs of funnels and your email sequence. Um, and now I will be starting soon my success academy, which is literally going to be my monthly, my like monthly insider month after month, right? My membership, whatever you want to call it. I don't like calling it membership. I like calling it the Success Academy. That's what it's going to be called. I already have like a list of a couple hundred people on a waiting list that want to get into it. But what I really, I was like, what is the need? Here is the need. People, people where I'm seeing that they need the most help is in success habits, principles. You know, people always want to know like the sexy stuff and I get it. I'll teach you social media. Um, I'll teach you how to have a converting sales funnel and all that pretty stuff. But really, how do you run a successful business? I ran a successful business when I was 22. I have run a successful business, four of them online. Okay. I've generated seven figures, multiple seven figures. It's because you need to understand business, business practices, business principles. You guys, people don't really teach this, right? And I want to teach this to my people. Um, time management, right? Procrastination. So it's not just teaching you like the fun stuff. It's actually like putting you into action. That's what my success academy will be. Um, and so anyways, how now you guys probably are saying, oh my God, she sounds like she has so much clarity in what she's offering now. How do you think I have so much clarity in what I'm offering right now? It's because I took the time to sit back January, February, March, April, you guys, four months to get now get here. This is May is the fifth month to say, oh my gosh, I now know exactly what lights me up and what I want to do to help my audience. And I'm sure my audience might shift a little bit. I have a lot of network marketers that follow me, but really it's, it's, it's those in network marketing that are rising up past network marketing. That's really, those are my clients. My clients are, are leaders in this space, um, that are looking to really raise the bar, whether they want to create their own coaching business or they want to create their own, you know, funnel and digital product, whatever it might be. That's my client, right? And so I'm taking my my this person and I'm raising them up. They might think like, okay, I'm good here, right? You guys, I'm gonna tell you, if you're not doing something every single day that makes you scared or nervous or have a little bit of fear, you're not you you're you're staying you're you're playing small. You're playing small and you're, 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 this is why you feel stuck and you're standing still. You have to do something every single day. I, on Monday and Tuesday of this week, had a six hour conference call both days. You want to talk about a fried brain, a fried brain. This woman is the most amazing business strategist, high performance coach. I, I can't even tell you like how amazing this woman is. And I hired her to stretch me. And she is literally pulling out of my comfort zone. She actually wants me to do speaking events. She's doing uh, a, um, an event around Australia later this year. And she wants to talk to me because she's like, after we dissected my entire business, she's like, I really think you would be an amazing at, at running your own event. I almost like crap my pants. I'll keep this nice and clean in case, sorry, kids are around. But I almost crap my pants because I was like, oh, like literally are you kidding me run my own event? Like, uh, I don't know. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot. I never looked at myself in that, that role, but you know, here she is. She's getting me to think bigger, right? She's pulling me out of my, my comfort zone. And that's what I want to do for, for my people, for my community. Right. And that's again, what the success Academy is going to be about. But the reason why I know now more than ever is I'm over here building my network marketing business. That's going amazing. Uh, amazing team. Very, very, very grateful for everyone I'm partnered with there. That's going great. Then I have my agency that I am just now getting up and running. We're kind of going through some beta, right? Uh, a couple clients as beta clients building out their websites and their funnels. And I love this work. 
So I feel I'll probably keep going down that path because it's like a business in a box. Most people get very confused at this whole thing. And why? Because of the technical aspect and the creative aspect. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love doing this. And then over here, I'm going to have my monthly success academy. So there you have it, right? Now, I wouldn't have gotten to this if I didn't take that step back. So I'm sharing my story with all of you in hopes that you can understand if you feel like you are hustling and you are grinding and you are not getting anywhere or you are hustling and grinding and maybe making money but not happy, you need to put a pause on it and take a step back and get quiet. Spend time with your kids. Spend time with your spouse. I am now able to, I am literally gone the first three weeks of June. I am in Disney. Then I go to Mexico. I want a free trip and I'm taking my seven-year-old and then I come back and immediately turn around and leave for Vegas. How do you think I could do this? Because I have had all this stuff working in the background. I took the time away to figure out what I really want and now I'm going full force and full charge after it. Does that make sense? But I'm still able to spend time with my family. Because why? Because I'm setting up my business in that way. And that's what I want you guys to do. Like really think about it. I don't want you to hustle your way into burnout like I did. Okay? So... Margaret, would you please message me with some names of great coach, of great coach. I'm not sure what that means. Margaret, if you want to message me, you can message me. <laughs> um, oh my God, I go into a total panic. I take four days to pause. I got my rubber band and think, yes, Dawn, very good. You're smart lady. All right, guys, I just wanted to share that real quick. Um, hopefully you found value in it because again, people always look and say, oh, but you've been this and you've been that. And I'm telling you right now, I've had all the same challenges. I just operate differently, right? Like my, I, I just probably operate a little bit differently and I have been in beast mode for almost a year straight, okay? Um, but now I have allowed myself to take that step back. Chris, come to Australia. Lady, yes. The team is on fire in Australia, and I'm thinking that um, we might come to Australia. Honestly, I think that there is definitely a need for us to come to Australia, girls. So hopefully we'll be getting there soon. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to head out. I got to run in the store. Hopefully this helped, and I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next training. Um, I'd say I'm hoping to get more dialed in on like the days during the week and the time. And I'm definitely thinking about just keeping these lives to like three to five minutes, just like snippets of like a quick one, one to three tip training. Um, Hey Tiffany, how are you, hon? And, uh, so that's what you could expect out of me. I'm, I'm, Hey, Hey, okay, this is cool. You guys, I want to think of a name for like my lives. So if you can help me think of a name, like I was thinking hot minute with Julie or, but then I'd only have to be a minute. And honestly, I'd probably do like five minute, like five minute timeout or five minute coffee with Julie or something. So if you have like a catchy name, let me know. Love to hear your thoughts. Sometimes it's better, even though you're a creative, I'm a creative, like to ask other people. Um, so just thought I'd throw that in there, but I trust all you guys. So anyways, you guys be blessed. Seriously. Um, it's really great to know that you struggle with the same thing. Oh God, Don. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, but any successful person that, that just sits there and says that they're just like, you know, dollar, dollar bills are flying at them without some sort of struggle or, um, something going on. They're just, they're so full of it. And anytime, you know, you up level your life. So like when I grew to six, like a six figure income, like my first hundred thousand, you know, you hit a certain, um, ceiling, right? Like you hit this certain level and you're like, Oh, and then like when you get to multiple six figures and now going seven figures a year, like that's a whole different breakdown that you'll have. So with every breakdown, there comes a breakthrough. And so because I'm, I'm working on scaling to seven figures a year, there's a big, you know, there's going to be a big breakdown. And that's literally what I had. I had like a total breakdown. So please don't ever feel like you guys are, if you are struggling, that that is out of the norm because it, it's really, it's not okay. It's not. 
Um, time out with Tiff. Yeah, so I had my time out with Julie. I had my time out with Julie meme. I had all that, but um, I still like the hot minute. I always say, I'll get back to you in a hot minute. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't say hot minute uh, because I know it'll be longer than a minute. All right, guys, be blessed. I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye.